In this talk, I would like to talk about you, the precise community. In other words, I would like to show you how to contribute in different ways and essentially how to be a good precise user. My name is Gerasmus Kurdakis and I'm a doctoral candidate at the Technical University of Munich. First of all, congratulations, you were just born as a new user. You're probably a healthy, young PhD student excited to do research. The first step you are doing probably is going through the documentation, running a tutorial, and as you do that, uh, you will see this edit me button. Now, this is there for all these things that you see that could be improved. For example, typos, dead links, something that should be there that you struggle a lot to understand. And everybody can, can contribute, and with this you can help everybody. And when I talk about you, I mean you watching this video. The second step would connect with us to the mailing list to, to get news on YouTube, to, to see more videos like this, and to follow us on Twitter, ResearchGate, subscribe to the citations of the reference paper, and give us a star on GitHub. Now, before you, before you ask anything, we would also like you to, to search before. You can now find many things just with a Google search, since everything is uh, available online. And uh, please ask in public channels. Why? Because this makes it much easier for us to manage who answers which question when. The most common public channel we have and your first, um, your first go for anything should be the precise forum on this course. If you have not yet visited it, it looks like this. On the left, we have some categories. For example, if you have not yet started using precise and you're wondering if this is for your application, open a topic in is precise for me. Then you may have uh, some installation issues or you have some trouble using the API of the library or using some of the existing adapters. On the right, you see uh, different topics. At the top, all of them still need an answer, apart from uh, this one that needs your contribution to uh, who you are and what you're doing with Precise. You see that every topic also has some, uh, some tags, for example, uh, about Calculix, and if you click on it, you'll find more topics mentioned in Calculix. Now, we want to establish that we see this as a community home, not as a support center. This means that uh, at the moment it has uh, mostly questions and it is mostly few people that, that are answering that are mostly developers. And uh, something else that, uh, that is a bit troublesome is if somebody posts a question but then disappears. We want to see this as a place for questions, ideas, or um, even doing something together. And in that sense, we would like to see help by, by many others. So we would like to see users helping users. This is currently one of the, one of the biggest uh, workloads we have with the, lowest, um, with the lowest paid priority. So it would be very good if you could uh, help us there. Finally, it would be very nice to see uh, to see people returning. We want to learn how how a project went for you and what happened with the problem that you may have had. A nice example that we can follow is the discourse of the Ubuntu community. Now, if you ask a question, it is important for us to ask effectively. What does this mean? This means that please make your question specific and concise. Don't write pages, but uh, carefully select your words for one or two paragraphs. Don't forget to include uh, the specific error messages 
please look also in log files often the the error messages tell you what to do next and uh, include the versions of all the solvers and adapters and precise you may be using you need to select a category for for your topic but afterwards don't also forget to add different tags because as you saw before you can use this to search or browse for similar issues if you have quick questions for example on how to find some on where to find something please uh, contact us on gitter now uh, you you may have seen that many of these topics uh, have a solution button. This is because we uh, we are organizing the the form like this, and in this way we want to have one topic per problem, not one topic per user. You can always refer to other topics that you may have opened and maybe in the similar in the same context. And uh, this course does a nice job uh, linking to its topic. At the end, please, and for the future reader, please describe how you solved the issue and mark it as solved so that we don't see that we need to do something there anymore. If something stays open for, for months and we cannot help and there is no reaction by the user, we give it a tag inactive which essentially means that internally we will not uh, look at it anymore. Then, both on this course and on GitHub, you can use Markdown to, to format your message. Markdown is a simple, a, a simple language and on the top you, you see uh, some buttons to, to get shortcuts for this. And if you also click on this uh, gear, you find more options, for example, to typeset code snippets. This you start with three backticks and you close with three backticks and you can often also specify the language. Now, if you post an error message, it would be really helpful to do this, to just add three backticks before three backticks under, because this makes it very easy for us to, uh, to see what is happening compared to, to a raw message. You can find here a link in the online slides for the GitHub version of, uh, of Markdown and you can get there more ideas. Some quick statistics uh, that you can also get uh, reading this uh, blog post one year of precise on this course. At the moment we have 140 users, uh, not, not so many are very active and we have uh, passed 1000 posts since uh, one year and a few months and of them um, in 22 topics uh, in 220 topics uh, 40 are unresolved the most common topics are about open foam fsi and calculix as expected now I would like to talk about the community stories or the testimonials that Benjamin may have already asked you to, to write. If you go to the, to the website and click on community and then stories, you will see here a list of very nice projects that others are, are working on. If you don't see your name here, please uh, also add it. It is uh, a wall of fame for you and a nice uh, showcase for us and it does not need to be a completed uh, completed work yet work in progress is fine and we can always edit and update uh, the testimonials you see that it's only one paragraph with some link to find more information this could be to some publication to a website or just to your email and uh, on the right you have usually some some picture this only needs to be uh, a visual, a visual graphic, and something that uh, people can understand with a quick scroll. Now, if you have uh, seen Precise on GitHub, you know that we we are using a lot of issues, many issues, and you may be wondering what is an issue. So, to my view. 
Anything that can be marked as closed is an issue. We want to, to distinguish uh, code-related issues with uh, fr from support requests. And if you have so, if you have such, please uh, write on this course. An issue needs to be specific. So, what happens um, when? And reproducible, meaning if it is a bug, how how did you end up um, seeing the symptoms of this bug? What can we do to get the same behavior? As, uh, as, as expected and as everybody, we have issues and we need help. And in particular, we need help in the adapter repositories. Um, you see here one issue about um, a memory leak in the Calculix adapter that uh, is still under investigation. And uh, you will see there that many people have replied that they have the same issue and that it happens under these conditions and it may not be happening under uh, other conditions. This is very helpful. And by the way, if you feel like contributing, this is a very nice issue to start from. Now, if you want to, to contribute code, as, uh, as you have seen, similarly to issues, we have pull requests. That's again, a GitHub term. And Please uh, make this pull request so that we can actually easily review and integrate, integrate them. Every pull request needs a clear description, maybe referring to, to some issues. And here you should describe essentially what this is and why do we need it. Then, uh, please keep it short, meaning not only the description, but also uh, keep only one fix or feature per pull request so that uh, we can integrate them in small chunks independently. Most importantly, you will see here uh, an option file changes. And if you click on this, you will see the complete difference of, uh, of the code. And uh, please make sure that this number is small. If you see that your contribution is 100 or 1000 lines, uh, lines of code and in several files, then maybe uh, this is something that you, you want to, to make smaller. Now, if you go to community or to, and then to contribute to Precise, you will find more information about all this. And I have already covered most of them. You may want to contribute tutorial cases uh, where we also have some uh, guidelines to follow. We will probably update this once again when we merge the restructuring branch of the tutorials. And please have a look again. Then if you want to contribute code, this uh, section is very short and this is intentional. The main point is to look at the contributing guidelines of its repository because um, Precise has different um, guidelines that it needs to follow than the OpenFOAM adapter, than the Calculix adapter. You can help us with uh, looking into good first issues or especially in issues that need help from us. And at the end, please again, don't forget to help others. Finally, I would like to spend a few times to talk about Precise as an academic project. There was a very nice question yesterday that was, do you do all these usability improvements on top of your scientific research? And yes, uh, many of these usability improvements come uh, just, just because we, we want them. And uh, on top of of our usual uh, daily routines that also include uh, our own PhD research, our uh, teaching uh, activities and other organizational tasks. Now, one central, uh, one central message that I would like you to remember is that we, the developers, are not the target users of Precise. 
And I think this is maybe the most mind-blowing fact about precise. What does this mean? Uh, often in, in research, in research software, you write software to run a simulation, get results, get answers to um, a question about an, the nature. In our case, we write the software which we want you to uh, use to answer such questions. At the same time, our research is on the methods around precise. So you see here that um, while you, you profit uh, from using precise, we also cannot work without, uh, without you making use of precise. And I would like once more to, to emphasize that uh, precise is research driven. So you see research groups in the picture and it is also community driven. So the circle in between, in between uh, is the community that is glowing and growing. And we need to work together. As you see, uh, we, we develop the main features as part of PhD projects. And this often gives us uh, some funding to use for student assistance and for conferences. So this is the classical funding model of an academic project. And in this, in this context, I would also really like to, to thank uh, all the, the funding agencies that have supported Precise. And in particular, uh, related to this talk was uh, a DFG proposal we had for the Research Software Sustainability project. And this covered, but uh, not anymore, many uh, aspects additional to feature development, which are improving the usability and maintainability, writing documentation and tests, and uh, maintaining all these adapters and tutorials that we don't use every day, but we want you to be able to use at any time. And uh, as you see, we, we like um, investing time talking with you. However, uh, this, this is really uh, time consuming and it does not scale if uh, only we uh, provide help. So here we need uh, some, some ideas on how to continue with this, how to scale it, how to make it more uh, possible for, for the industry to, to work with us as well. So do we have any, any funding model ideas? So that would be very useful feedback for us. One idea would be to have um, support licenses and maybe we can talk about this uh, later. And I would um, really like to, to point you to this uh, talk at FOSDEM by the founders of, of Nextcloud that study different um, free software uh, funding uh, models. Finally, let me emphasize once more that uh, we essentially help each other, so the developers and the users do science. And with this, I think it's important that we collaborate early on. This means uh, drafting proposals together, uh, writing publications together and reviewing them and uh, offering courses together. As an academic project, Precise relies a lot on publications, so please cite the reference paper and look for the, for the new version coming soon and also cite the, the adapters. You can meet the community again uh, hopefully we will continue like this every year in the winter having a precise workshop and in the summer having an invited session in a thematic conference this year in the couple problems in June and you can also of course find us in other events in November 2019 I had um, a related talk at the Dutch RSC conference which includes more more data and observations and as a summary i would like to, to conclude that uh, you are 
an important part of the community and you can have an impact on it. I will be very happy to discuss with you via email or, even better, on this course. Have a nice day!